Did you know that if you have a Google Workspace, maybe you call it a Gmail account, that you can set up multiple email addresses all going to one inbox? That is exactly what an email alias is. And in this video, I'm going to explain maybe why you might want an email alias, and then I'll show you exactly how to set it up in your account. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of website design agency, Designing the Row. And in the past month and a half or so, I've had multiple clients come to me and need help with email aliases. So that is why I am creating this video. I have five scenarios for you as to why you might need or want an email alias, um, mostly inspired by my clients. So why might that be? Client number one, ultimately she set up a username that she didn't want as her email address. So when you create a Google Workspace account, you create a username and that becomes your email address. So if you set up a username, say for example, for me, that is Catherine, the email address for that account will be Catherine at whatever the domain name is dot com. So she set a username that she ultimately didn't want as her email, but instead of scratching that and starting all over, we just created an email alias so she could keep that existing account and just have a different email address. Scenario number two was for a new music group and they're just getting started. They don't have a, a manager or a booking agent or a big team yet, but they wanted the appearance of that. So instead of creating a whole bunch of different email accounts that they would have to log into separately to check, we created one info at domain name.com email address, and then created a couple of aliases like booking at that email address. Um, I can't remember what the other ones were now, but you get the point. If you wanna create the illusion of a team, but really you're the one checking everything, email aliases are gonna be the way to go. Scenario number three hit my inbox yesterday and that's why I'm sitting down to create this video. They have had a couple email addresses set up through Google Workspace, separate addresses set up for a couple years and they want to close one down and just keep this other one. Well, okay, let's close down this one and then we will set it up as an alias under this account. So you're not paying for two separate emails anymore. You're just paying for the one, but we will create you an alias under this one that you want to keep. So if anybody still is emailing that address, or if you still even want to use it, you can, but you're, you're using it under one inbox and one account. Scenario number four would be if you need an email address for just a temporary amount of time, maybe you're collecting applications for something, maybe you're running an event, I don't know, but maybe you just need a temporary email address. If you already have a Google Workspace account, this would be a great way to accomplish that without any extra cost or hassle of ha having to log in somewhere else to check these emails. And scenario number five is actually something I did myself. My personal email address is my first and last name. So when I got married and my last name changed, I needed a new email address. But instead of creating a whole new account, uh, and abandoning the email address that I already had, I just created an alias. That way I didn't have to email people say, new wife, new email. Um, I just started using the alias when I emailed people. Um, honestly, sometimes I still accidentally send emails from um, the, the old name, but you know, it all goes to the same place. That's why we create aliases, right? A couple more things I want to share with you before I share my screen and show you how to set this up. If you are looking for some sort of private email address that will be hidden or whatever, this is not that. This is used as a regular email address. People will have no idea that it's an alias. It looks like an email, it acts like an email. It is an email address. Um, this is not anything anything private. And I've also mentioned this, but I just wanna say it outright. It will not have its own login. So it will not have its own password you log into your email address or your email inbox account as you normally do, and you will have access to use to send, receive emails from this new alias. If you want to send an email from the alias, just compose your email as you normally would. Click the little toggle down on the from email address and you will see your alias or aliases pop up there. And you can actually create up to 30 email aliases under one Google Workspace account. So have at it, that should cover you for whatever you need. I just wanna give you a warning when you do set it up, give it about 24 hours just to officially sink in before you run with it. And now we're gonna head over to admin.google.com, not your inbox, this is not a setting in your email, this is under your username, so admin.google.com, 
and I will show you how to set it up. Okay, so here we are in my Design in the Row Google Admin panel. Maybe you've already spotted it. Over here under Users is the option to create an alternate email address or email alias. So we're going to click into that. And then it wants to know which user or which email address do you want to create this email alias for. So I'm going to start typing in my email address. You can see it pops up right here. I will click on that and then proceed. Once that loads, it's going to drop me right down to this alternate email addresses section. And you can see I already have one for Catherine at designingtheroad.com. Uh, if I wanted another one, just click right here and sorry, if I can type, type info at designingtheroad.com. Type as many email addresses or alias as you would like here. Once you are done, just hit save. I am going to cancel though. And when you save, you can see your alternate email address list right here. And again, just give those about 24 hours to set in and you are good to go. Just as one more reminder, you will access these email addresses through your existing email account. So the email that you just put in to create an alias for, you will log into your email for that account and you will find access to these new aliases. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. I have a whole separate video on just setting up your Google Workspace account from zero if you haven't already done that. Um, I will link to that over here. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next one.